just published a blog, but I want to spread this message to as many people as possible because this is a topic that knows a lot of confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. So I'm going to share with you this blog here on YouTube. It is an unpopular opinion, but here we go. Twin flames, twin rays, divine counterparts, new age deception and true spiritual logic. Twin flames and divine counterparts, soulmates, twin rays, all of these words are often used interchangeably when they are not at all the same. Some people claim that the twin concept is a new age deception. It is not. The concept in and of itself is not fake, a deception, but it has been layered with lies and confusion, making people completely unaware of the true purpose of the twin connection. Those who have experienced it know that it is not fake, it is very real. But there is a lot of deception, confusion, mistruths about this topic that I have been dancing around for almost a year now, but I have been really going within these past few weeks because I am recovering from an injury and that meant being very present with myself. So the message came this morning from my dragon guides that I was going to write a blog. I didn't see what about, but as the hours passed, they told me what it was going to be about. Many people are under the impression that the elusive twin flame connection is the epitome of divinity and the best of the best. When in reality, I think that there has been a deliberate confusion that has been created around this that was a little typo term, in order to confuse people and to actually keep people in twin flame connections that were never supposed to last. I believe that there are two kinds of twin connections and that the terms twin ray and twin flame are not at all the same thing. We see the twin connections that are so effortless and there is simply harmony and then there are the twin connections that are push, pull, drama, and more, the typical twin flame connection. I have read a lot of times online, heard it often, that twin flames are not karmic, and in reality, what I have seen in many cases is that twin flames are in fact the highest karmic connection one can have, and this was 100% orchestrated by God. People are often allergic to the word karma, when in reality the dissolving of karma is a sacred thing, and the entire goal of twin flame union is to clear and heal the karma, and often this is impossible for both parties because it is such a heavy load, or something that the new age will gasp at, twin flames are supposed to meet and propel you into greatness and then go their separate ways again. Allow me to illustrate, keeping the distinction between twin flames and twin rays in mind, you awaken to your spiritual nature, Sometimes this only happens when meeting a twin flame. Other times this happens on its own, as it did in my case, very early on in life. For other people, it happens through a catalyst event, an accident, kundalini awakening, gradual meditation practice, etc. You start doing inner intuitive work, and you start realizing that there is a lot of healing on a variety of levels that is taking place that is invisible to the naked eye. It's pulling all of the shadows out of you so that you can let more light in and embody more and more of your higher self, your true self, and this is awakening. 
And now, when you look at the screen, you will see an illustration of an X. And you are at the bottom of the X. You are awakening. And then there comes a point where an event takes place that is supposed to just catapult you into massive growth and intense shadow work. Not everyone has a contract to do this with a twin flame. And this is deception number one, that you must find your twin flame. A lot of people have a variety of karmic and or soulmate soul family with whom they solve a lot of issues or who act as a catalyst for their awakening. We are now simply talking about twin flames in this video here. And then it is time to be catapulted even further into awakening. And the way that my guides showed it to me in October of 2023 was that we are sort of evolving in layers of awakening. We are contracting and expanding and you could say that you are indeed being magnetized towards something that is pulling you in because you have something it needs and it has something you need. It's your catalyst for all of that intense shadow work. You are being pulled towards something or someone. And then you can see in the illustration on the screen, you are being pulled towards the center of the X. You are being magnetized. And this is often when you meet a twin flame. And I'm talking about the kind here that will push you deeper into looking at your shadows and fears. And often this happens right when you are kind of on a plateau in your spiritual journey. You've done some shadow work and things are going well, but we are ready to be pushed deeper into our mission and ready to shed deepest layers of illusion to allow even more higher self embodiment to occur. And then when you look at the screen, you will see that in the center of the X, you meet your twin flame. And here is where the New Age has taken the Twin Flame concept and just ran with it, creating a trap, if you will, because it is very beneficial for negatively polarized beings to keep people trapped in an illusion of needing to stay in something that you are supposed to override. And the way I was shown this in meditation in October of 2023 was that once you have collected from your twin flame what you needed, and I will elaborate on the difference more between twin flame, twin ray, divine counterpart, etc., then you are supposed to separate again. And they showed me this X shape, where you and your twin flame meet in the middle, and often overstaying will create a tornado effect that sucks you in and keeps you trapped so that you do not accelerate. When the entire point of the twin flame connection was to catapult each other up into expansion, and some of them do physically separate, but they stay in an emotional push and pull dynamic for years and years, thinking it's what they're supposed to be doing. Stories such as there is an unbreakable cord, you are the only other half, this is supposed to be the best relationship ever, if you can only work through the blocks. These things keep people from up-leveling themselves and keep them stuck in a loop with a twin flame. But what if you separate and take back your power and see through the illusion of the flame and see it for what it is, your biggest karmic soul friend that held important pieces for you and you continue journeying upward on the X shape and you go your separate ways. And now you will see on the screen that in the illustration of the X, you actually go to the other side and you expand again and you go your separate ways again. And I was shown that the moment that I chose myself again was the moment that God showed me the twin flame deception 
and how twin rays and twin flames have been mixed up and a lot of confusion arose within the New Age community. Even within my own favorite channeled transmissions, such as Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, where they speak of twin flames, even referring to Yeshua and Magdalene, when they were most definitely twin rays. They were true divine counterparts that had no karma, and those are the twin connections that everyone longs for. The karma-free kind, the kind that is about unconditional love and growth. And this is the unbreakable bond, the cord that remains forever. The twin flame cord can and is meant to be broken once you are traveling beyond the center of the X. And when you think about it, this is true spiritual logic. And when you look at the screen, you will see that once you are going your separate ways, you are distancing yourself because you no longer need a contract and this cord can actually be broken. And you level up. You have learned everything that you possibly could from this ultimate karmic partner that was the twin flame. And you have come to the point where you are whole on your own and ready for a divine counterpart that is truly holy and karma free. And then you can see that you are ready to up level on the screen. Some people never meet a twin flame and immediately meet a twin ray, then labeling it twin flame because that is all they've ever heard and they experience the bliss and harmony. And some people meet a twin flame and stay stuck in a loop thinking there is only one kind of twin and this is it, so they stay stuck in a loop. Some people break free from the twin flame and denounce the entire concept claiming that there is no such thing when in reality it is all so much more nuanced than that. And I hesitated for months to write about this or talk about this, but I felt that after nine months of sitting with all of this information, it was time to write about it. And to close, I would like to share excerpts from a blog with you written by fellow Akashic Records reader Jenna Freer. Twin ray soulmates are the highest level romantic soulmate. The twin ray is what the twin flame soulmate relationship prepares you for. Twin ray relationships are the blissful, dreamy romance that never dies. Twin rays can only attract each other when both individuals have mastered 5D vibration and an equal balance of divine feminine and masculine energies. Twin ray soulmates typically have no soul contracts with one another because they have no karmic lessons. The only contract twin rays may have with one another is to love one another without conditions and to live in bliss together. Once the proper vibration is achieved, no one really talks about the twin ray or they confuse the twin ray with the twin flame as being the same thing, but it's absolutely not. The reason there is not a lot of information about the twin ray is because humans have not been able to rise into high enough vibration to attract them until recently. And then she talks about the twin flame. Twin flame soulmates are one soul split into two halves. And this is the first level of spiritual relationship, and it is usually romantic but also very difficult. And there is a lot of push, pull and mirroring in the twin flame relationship as personal issues and insecurities are brought to the surface for reflection and release. Remember, the other half in this relationship is you in a different physical body. And the spiritual goal of this relationship is to get you on your spiritual path to unconditional self-love. This is to strengthen you in the areas of self-worth and move you from awareness of self, 3D vibration and consciousness, to awareness of spirit, 
for the vibration and consciousness and finally into 5D consciousness, unconditional love for self and others, oneness and service to others. And this is phase one of the spiritual journey, meeting another version of yourself to reflect back to you all that you need to accept, integrate, embrace and love about yourself in order to walk your ascension path. And then she continues about the twin ray. First you think your near twin is the one. Then you meet your twin flame and you believe that this is the one. And that may be true in some aspects because they are the one. Other half of your soul that you need to integrate fully in order to move on to the next one which is your twin soul which is likely the one for you right now until you ascend into the highest possible version of your embodied human self and then and only then will you attract your twin ray soulmate who is the purest most loving romantic soulmate you can attract and you can find her entire blog, it is linked below in the description. Now if you would like more guidance about twin flames, twin rays, soulmates, soul contracts, whatever, Akashic records, past lives, I would love to assist you and all my guidance always comes from my own experience and my own insights and my heart and spirit team and know that I have the following options available for you different Akashic Records readings, video courses, work with the dragons and different one-on-one -on -one options and if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I will be back with more and if you want more on this topic do let me know I was hesitant to talk about it but have noticed that there is a lot of confusion around it and a lot of people have questions about it.